hello, five o'clock or close to it, 4.59. Um, a little, a little early today. That's okay, isn't it? Uh, happy Monday. I hope everybody is self-isolating, social distancing, physical distancing, whatever you're calling it. I hope it's working for you and you're getting through these days, which can seem kind of long. Um, for anybody who's new to this, it's the Terry Hart TV and movie club, um, that I've been doing here on Instagram on, hi there, um, on Instagram live. I was going to do it every other day. That seemed too much. Then every third day, then... I'm now figuring every Monday and Thursday, I'll come on here and let you guys know some tips um, on what you can be watching. I've already got some great feedback from people who have taken my suggestions. Uh, somebody just DM me today and said that they watched Feel Good. Actually, a few people have told me that they watched Feel Good. I was lucky enough to have the director of that six part series join me on here um, just last when was that, Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. Uh, I love that six part comedy series, Feel Good, that was one of my picks. So today, I'm going a little bit different today. So if we can agree on anything, we can certainly agree on the fact that 2019 was the year of Bong Joon-ho, right? Do you know who he is? Rem need me to remind you? He directed, he wrote and directed Parasite, which made history this year at the Academy Awards. It was the first, um, formerly called foreign film, now called international film, to win best picture. Change the game, change the future. It is, Parasite is amazing. It's not yet available. Oh, hi, Angela. I love, it's not yet available on streaming services. So I thought, you know what you need to do? You need to go back to some old Bong Joon-ho movies to see what brought him to Parasite because there are a lot of threads about previous Bong Joon-ho movies that will um, kind of prepare you for the excitement of watching Parasite because if you haven't seen Parasite yet, hi Rick, um, if you haven't seen Parasite yet, you definitely have to make sure you watch that movie. But now, even if you have seen Parasite and you haven't seen these other two movies, go back to old Bong Joon-ho. Both of these movies are available on Netflix. I do promise you I'm not always gonna choose Netflix um, content. I will choose some other content too. A uh, friend today reminded me of, um, oh, what was the movie that I love so much? Wild Rose. That's on Amazon Prime. I think I mentioned that in another Facebook, Instagram live, but um, I will do a whole other thing on Wild Rose. That's on Amazon Prime. But today we are talking about John Bong Joon-ho's Snowpiercer, firstly. It's from 2013. It's kind of a post-apocalyptic end of the world movie, or the world has basically ended. And what's left of humanity, Terry Hart doing such a great job. Aw, oh, thanks so much, thanks for watching. Um, uh, so there's a train. The only people left in the world are on this train. It's doing a loop all around the globe because the globe has frozen. In an effort to slow down climate change, they made the world um, a perpetual, ice, it, 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 ice, snow, ice, and the only way you can travel is on this train around the world. The train is set up um, with the wealthiest at the front of the train, and then slowly and surely as you move down each train car, each car has the inhabitants have less. So by the time you get to the end of the train, the caboose, if you will, um, we're dealing with the uh, least privileged people on the train. We, one of those people is Chris Evans, and he leads a revolt to get to the front of the train. And it is action-packed, it's political. Um, there are huge surprises in it of who lives and who dies, how they ingeniously get from uh, each train car to each train car, um, how the wealthy, when they figure out what's happening, how they turn on each other. Bong Joon-ho's Snowpiercer is one of my picks for today. And, and I, I'm just, for everybody who's just joining. Um, hi, everybody. Thanks so much for being here. Yeah, it is an excellent movie, Rick. It's kind of worth a second watch if you've already seen it. Um, my story about Snowpiercer, I was trying, I asked my husband, I was trying to remember the story. I don't remember it. All I know is I was so excited to see Snowpiercer. I was working at the movie network at the time. Um, is I left work. <laughs> I kind of took off and, and took a little afternoon off to um, go and see Snow, Snowpiercer at the Tiff Bell Lightbox back in the day. Um, it was released in 2013. There was all kinds of controversy around um, Weinstein Company and Harvey Weinstein and how he wanted Bong Joon-ho to re-edit it. Um, uh, you know, Harvey was a person who always kind of interfered with a lot of filmmakers. Um, 
Anyway, Bong Joon-ho released the movie that he wanted to be released um, and critical acclaim, amazing response. And that was what first turned me on to Bong Joon-ho as a filmmaker, Snowpiercer. It's on Netflix right now. The reason I'm talking about Bong Joon-ho movies is because Parasite, which of course won the best picture um, at this year's Academy Awards, it will be available on streaming services soon. So I'm just thinking that maybe it might be fun for people who aren't as familiar with Bong Joon-ho and um, where he came from and his incredible skills as a filmmaker can go back and watch some of his old movies. So Snowpiercer is the first one that I'm rep rep uh, recommending. And the second one I'm recommending is Okja. Who's heard of Okja? I wish this was more interactive. I can, t I can comment on some people. Oh, thanks so much for watching, Connie. Um, hi, Jess. Uh, so Okja is the second movie. Now, Okja, after Snowpiercer uh, had its huge success, and, and by the way, if you're wondering if these are foreign films, they're not. They're in the English language. So both Snowpiercer and Okja are English. Riley, you haven't heard of it. Um, Snowpiercer or Okja, both made by Bong Joon-ho, who made Parasite. So that's why I'm recommending. Um, and they're both amazing. Chris Evans, Tilda Swinton, Ed Harris, they all star in Snowpiercer. And Okja stars Tilda Swinton in one of those amazing diabolical turns when an actor plays their own twin. She, um, for sure, was uh, a bit of a muse for Bong Joon-ho, seeing her in Snowpiercer and then in Okja. Um, how do you spell the second movie? Uh, it's O-K-J-A, Okja, and it's on Netflix. It was actually made for Netflix. And that was uh, one of their originals way back, I mean, 2017. Uh, I guess it's not way back in the day, but it seems like a long time ago now. And I binged that the second it came out because I had fallen in love with Bong Joon-ho as a filmmaker after getting turned on to Snowpiercer and then Okja. So Okja is, again, has a huge political back Bone. I should probably sit up a little bit here. Sorry, guys. It's getting all excited and getting all relaxed and leaning forward. Anyway, my cozy sweater. Um, I, I know my my uh, self quarantine or, or self isolation clothes are a little more casual than maybe you're used to seeing me in. But I'm kind of liking it. I'm kind of liking casual, Terry. Um, I have proper pants on though. I've got jeans on, not yoga pants. Um, so yeah, so Okja, it um, is about genetic, a, a giant genetically modified pig. Doesn't sound very exciting, but boom, blew my mind about what it was saying about climate change, what it's saying about the food shortage in the world, how um, our food um, preparation and production is so uh, modified. Um, when are you coming to New York City again? Well, yeah, I don't know when I'm coming to New York City again. I'd, uh, I don't know when anybody's getting on an airplane again anytime soon. Uh, all love and casual, Terry. Thanks, Riley. Um, oh, Reddy, you just joined. I've got to tell you, you've got to catch up because you're going to want to see these ones. Um, I'm going back into the archives for some Bong Joon home movies to prepare people for Parasite, which I think should be coming on streaming uh, services in April. So I thought we could go back and see um, some of his other amazing work. The first one, Snowpiercer. It is a post-apocalyptic uh, thriller action movie set on a train that divides the haves and the have-nots. And then the have-nots create a coup on this train. It's action. It's political. It's sci-fi. It's so, so smart. And pure edge of your seat. Highly recommend Snowpiercer. And then also Okja, which is made for Netflix. It's, both of these are on Netflix. Tilda Swinton stars in both. She actually plays two characters in Okja. And um, it is about a genetically modified pig that is supposed to um, cure hunger. It um, has a lot to say about what we're doing around our food consumption, but it's all in a drama. It's not a documentary, and it is just absolutely fantastic and so smart and so interesting. And both of these, if you have teenagers in your house, both of these movies are pretty family friendly in terms of teenagers. They're a little too sophisticated um, in terms of their themes for younger kids, but I think teenagers would get a lot out of both Snowpiercer and Okja. Um, so I think that these are movies that should be in your kind of wheelhouse of understanding why Bong Joon-ho and Parasite was such an incredible success this year at the Academy Awards. And um, 
And also it's just kind of great to dip your toe into some filmmakers. Uh, I remember having a conversation when I was still working at City. Uh, somebody was like, you know, I don't really watch a ton of movies and I don't know where to start. Like it's too much. That was part of the reason I started this is I heard from a lot of people. I just don't know where to start. It's too much. So one of the ways that you can start getting into movies and kind of building up your kind of movie profile and, and learning what you like, because you're not going to like everything that I like. Um, I hope you like most of it, but you're not going to like everything is start with filmmakers. Start like if you really, really like a certain movie, look who directed that movie and then go back to, hi, um, go back to some other movies they made and see if their filmmaking style and then see who else they um, maybe look for some interviews with them and see who else they cite as their mentors. It's a great way to kind of start initiating yourself into maybe um, some different movies that you wouldn't normally gravitate towards. So today I am recommending, hey Winston, um, today I am recommending Snowpiercer, which is an awesome, cool action movie set in the future. The world is coming to an end, set on a train, circling around the world. Um, the haves are at the front of the train, the have-nots are at the back of the train, and the have-nots have had enough, and they are getting to the front of that train. Super, super exciting. Hey, Wentz, have you seen Snowpiercer? Um, yeah, I hope you have, because if you haven't, you have to watch it. Promise me you will. And um, then the second movie is Okja, which is about a genetically modified pig. Doesn't sound exciting, but has a lot to say about our, our world and how we... Um, consume things and how companies, some companies maybe are, um, it's fiction, it's not real, it's fiction, but um, I think there's some truth based in there. Bong Joon-ho has an amazing ability of talking about the world and talking about the discrepancies in the world for human beings and creating this world around that that is so exciting and so interesting. I mean, Parasite was genius about it, but we see it in Snowpiercer, we see it in Okja, and all of these, if you haven't seen Parasite yet, genetically modified giant pig, my kind of movie. Oh, good, Rick, I'm glad it's appealing to you. Um, so all of those, so that's what I mean about following a filmmaker, that if you like something of theirs, maybe you can dig a little deeper in their filmography and expose yourself to some of their other work. So today I'm focusing on Bong Joon-ho because it was the year of Bong Joon-ho. He changed the world. He was the first filmmaker to win both best, it used to call, be called best foreign film, it's now called best international film at the Academy Awards, and the big one, best picture. Um, he also won Best Director. Uh, it, it was a great, great thing to watch at the Academy Awards this year. I mean, sometimes the Oscars, uh, A, I really like the fact that the Oscars, uh, hello from Costa Rica. I've never been to Costa Rica. I wanna get to Costa Rica. That is on my bucket list. When we all can start getting on airplanes again, and I'm optimistic that's going to happen, Costa Rica, Costa Rica is gonna be at the top of my list. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping that you are, are digging these movies um, that I'm recommending, Snowpiercer and Okja. And again, I thought I should kind of get off the series track a little bit because I know that that is a lot of commitment for people, those series. Um, I've been binging Ozark. Have you seen Train to Busan? Uh, South Korean action horror. I haven't, Riley. I haven't seen Train to Busan. Um, where would I find that? Just slide into my DMs and tell me where I'd find that one. Uh, it sounds interesting. Um, so yeah, I'm interested in, right now, I'm, I'm, I'm crazy in Ozark. So here's what happened. I didn't get done season two of Ozark. And it had been a while since I watched season one. So we went back to the beginning of season one. And when you're faced with 30 hours of television in front of you, it can be a little bit intimidating. So um, feeling that myself, I thought for these, I am going to recommend a couple movies for the next little while, um, just so you don't feel completely consumed and that it's overwhelming to start doing this. And I think that these two fit the bill really well. Snowpiercer, and Okja, both on Netflix, both written and directed by Bong Joon-ho, who won the Academy Award for Parasite this year, and I'll be keeping my eyes out for the premiere date of Parasite um, so that we can make sure that doesn't go unwatched. I know some people are a little bit intimidated uh, by a foreign film and, and subtitles, and um, I, I can't recommend enough that if you're going to 
uh, dip your toe into the foreign film territory, Parasite is a great one to start with. There's a reason it made history. There's a reason he is um, one of the best, ve very best filmmakers in the world. And these two I'm recommending for you today come from him also. Uh, so I hope that is good. Um, it's Monday, a kind of gray, dreary Monday here in Toronto today and tomorrow. We should have a viewing party for Parasite. That's interesting. A couple people have reached out to me about doing a viewing party. Um, as in, I come on here, uh, introduce the movie, and then we all go away and watch the movie at a similar time, and then I'll come back and talk about it. The problem is, um, I don't find that IG Live is interactive enough for this. Uh, yeah, it's dull. Yeah, it's dull in Kingston too, eh, Lou? Um, I, I'm, I'm struggling to figure out the best format to do a virtual viewing party. Uh, all this kind of came from this idea that I was gonna do a Terry Hart's movie club uh, and meet people in Toronto, which is where I live for anybody who's not from here. I live in Toronto, uh, Canada. And um, I wanted to go and see movies with people and then have a conversation about it. And then the coronavirus happened and self-isolation self happened. And there's a Netflix Google Chrome extension called Netflix Party. Oh, interesting, Winston. Maybe you can help me with that, buddy. Um, would you do that? Would you want to do a virtual movie date? Um, anyway, pick a movie. Parasite would be a really fun one to do it with. Um, if it is going to start streaming on all platforms at the same time, uh, give people some options. So uh, just to remind people of the things that I'm recommending today, um, Snowpiercer, high, high, high recommend. I love that movie. And Okja, both by Bong Joon-ho. I'll dig into a viewing party idea and see if there's something I can come up with um, for that. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. So I'll be back on Thursday. Um, I think I might have a guest coming on again. Wasn't that fun when the director of Feel Good joined me? I freaked out. It was so weird. I just DM'd her on IG and she like got right back to me because she's the coolest person in the world. If you haven't seen Feel Good, watch Feel Good. Um, and uh, so now you've got a couple movies on your watch list. Love Sex Education uh, soundtrack was awesome. Oh, I'm so glad you love Sex Education. That was my first one. Um, that was my first, I'm getting so much great response. It's just warming my heart to see that people are taking my suggestions and loving them. Um, uh, so yeah, Sex Education was my very first one. And you had two seasons to get through on that, Lou. So well done. I'll let you know when I hear about the premiere date for season three. I think that they're shooting it right now or they would be shooting it right now if the world wasn't shut down. Ozark season three is awesome. Yeah, Chris, I was just saying, I went back to um, season one. Oh, love a good movie TV soundtrack, run it. Sorry, I missed you, Chris. Um, I went back to season one of Ozark because I didn't get to season two and I felt like I needed a reminder. So I'm in episode five of season two of Ozark right now. So I've still got a while to go on Ozark, no spoilers, please, um, but I'm digging it. I can kind of only get through two, uh, can't wait to talk to Ozark. Oh, Jess, are you through Ozark three? Good on you. I can only kind of watch like two Ozarks at a time because it's so, so dark and I find them all kind of awful. Like they're getting worse and worse as human beings. Um, yeah, and even Jason. And, you know, I didn't think I could feel that way about Jason. Hi, Tony. Thanks for saying hi and stopping in. Um, so what do you think? couple movies for you this week? Uh, Snowpiercer? Okja? I've gone over my time. I'm going to come back on Thursday. I've kind of decided Mondays and Thursdays um, are going to be my days for doing this. Um, is 5 o'clock good for you guys? Does 5 o'clock work? Um... It kind of works for me in terms of my other responsibilities. Hey, Cheryl. Um, and uh, yeah, I feel like it's kind of before starting dinner. I know I kind of start dinner later than most people. Um, but all of our days are upside down and topsy-turvy now. So I think, love snow peers are excellent. Don't you think it's kind of, even if you've seen it, even if you saw it way back in the day, you can uh, go back and watch snow peers again and have your mind blown all over again. Um, Good, I'm glad you're gonna check out Okja. Same filmmaker, Bong Joon-ho. Okay guys, I think that's it for me today. Uh, Snowpiercer, Okja, and five works when you get home from work. Good, good to know. And um, I'll talk to you soon, Thursday, and maybe, maybe I'll drop in a little bit before that. If neither of those appeal to you, I'm just gonna keep reminding everybody about Wild Rose on Amazon Prime all the time. I love that movie so much, and I want everybody to watch Wild Rose, okay? Started watching Hunters on Netflix. Oh yeah, yeah. Isn't Hunters on? 
Is that the Al Pacino Hunters? Tony? I'm in, I'm gonna wait for Tony to answer. Um, because if it's Hunters, if it's the Al Pacino, ooh, I missed out on. <laughs> um yeah, I think that's on Amazon, the Al Pacino one. Hunters was good. Oh, Rick, is that on? So maybe I'm wrong. Um, anyway, okay, guys, thanks. I can't, it's really hard for me to answer because I think there's a delay, a little bit of a delay. Um, thanks, guys. Happy Monday. We'll get through this together. Stay in, self-isolate, physically distance. I think we're calling it physical distancing now instead of social distancing because it's a little more descriptive of what we need to do. Um, I was on a, I do a, fa a FaceTime with a friend last night and she was like, just walk around like this all the time. Walk around like this, <laughs> which I think is a pretty good suggestion to remind ourselves of the space we need. Um, thanks everybody for joining. I hope this has been fun and good. It has been for me. I'll be back on Thursday. I already have a couple of ideas bubbling, but I might have a guest on Thursday. So we'll see you then. Thanks, bye-bye.